the late 19th century, the field of medicine in the United States was undergoing significant advancements. It was during this transformative period that a remarkable individual, Dr. Walter Wyman, emerged as a pioneer in public health. Born in 1848, Wyman's relentless pursuit of knowledge and his commitment to improving health care led him to become the first person to hold the esteemed title of Surgeon General. In 1891, President Benjamin Harrison appointed Walter Wyman as the supervising surgeon, marking the birth of the office of the Surgeon General. Wyman's tenure would span over two decades, during which he made remarkable contributions to public health, and he set the foundation for the future Surgeon Generals. As Surgeon General, Wyman implemented groundbreaking policies aimed at improving the health and well-being of the American people. He focused on disease prevention, sanitation, and the regulation of food and drug safety. Wyman's efforts in eradicating infectious diseases and promoting public hygiene laid the groundwork for the health initiatives that followed. The role of the Surgeon General extends beyond civilian health care, encompassing the U.S. military as well. Recognizing the importance of medical leadership within the armed forces, Wyman's appointment as the Surgeon General of the U.S. Army, U.S. Air Force, and U.S. Navy further solidified his influence on national health policies. Wyman's leadership as the first Surgeon General left an indelible mark on the public health in the United States. His dedication to improving health care access, disease prevention, and medical research set a precedence for future Surgeon Generals and subsequent appointments built upon Wyman's foundation, furthering the office's influence and impact. Over the years, the role of the Surgeon General has evolved to address emerging health care challenges. From combating infectious disease to addressing mental health crises, Surgeon Generals have been at the forefront of shaping national health policies for many, many years. Beyond policy and health care, the Surgeon General's role has influenced society in profound ways, from raising awareness about the dangers of tobacco to promoting healthy lifestyles. The office has been a catalyst for positive change. Interestingly, the title of Surgeon General originated in the 17th century, when military units began to have their own physicians. In 1870, the Marine Hospital Service was reorganized into a national hospital system with a medical officer in charge. This medical officer was called the Supervising Surgeon and was later given the title of Surgeon General. The first person to hold that title was Walter Wyman, appointed in 1891. Believe it or not, he served all the way until 1911. As we conclude our journey, we reflect on the office's enduring mission to protect and improve the health of all Americans. By examining the contributions of past Surgeon Generals and the challenges that lie ahead, we inspire those who are listening to take an active role in their own health and advocate for positive change in their communities. As the title of this podcast states, Interesting Things with JC, this provides you the opportunity to research interesting things upon your own. Maybe it stokes the coals that are burning within the belly of the beast and ignites that flame that pushes you over the edge to look into this a little bit further. Here's one fun and interesting fact for you as we lead to a close. The position of Surgeon General has been vacant on many occasions. The longest tenure of unemployment, though, was for four years. During that time, the United States healthcare infrastructure was completely destroyed. I'm simply kidding about that final bit. But it is true, the office was vacant for four years. The story of the Surgeon General is one of dedication, innovation, and public service. From the pioneering appointment of Walter Wyman to the current advancements in healthcare, the office has played an essential role in shaping the well-being of the nation. These are Interesting Things with J.C.